Want to know how to do YouTube sponsorships? Stay tuned. Hey, holidays are every day, and today's holiday is National Financial Awareness Day, and I thought this holiday would be the perfect episode to talk a little bit more about YouTube sponsorships, because as you may or may not know, um, I've done one or two since now, I don't know, I'm filming this kind of early, and I've gotten a lot of people asking me how it works, how, you know, how am I getting sponsorships and everything like that. Now, first off, I want to say there are multiple websites um, that are similar to this one that I'm going to be talking about, uh, where, you know, it's it's all about YouTube sponsorships. You sign in through your YouTube account and then you apply for campaigns. And, and I have tested out a few of them. I, I'm just going to talk about my favorite one, which is grapevinelogic.com. So first I want to talk about how the website works uh, and then I'll talk about like my personal experiences and what I think of the website. So when you go on the website, on the home page, you'll see this little button that says YouTube Creators. If you click on that, it'll lead you the, to this page where you can enter in your YouTube channel and it will tell you the average amount of money people make with your subscriber number. Now I forget if you have to have a thousand subscribers but even if you don't have a thousand subscribers, companies aren't really going to approve you because, well, they're trying to advertise their product. They're not going to get very far with somebody who has less than a thousand subscribers. Anyway, so you sign in and you, you just sign in through your YouTube account and then you're signed in. Then you can click the campaign section and you can scroll through all the products that companies want YouTubers to advertise for and, you know, products that look good to you and that you want to sponsor in your video and stuff you just click on it and then you send in your proposal you tell them exactly what you're gonna be doing for your video and it, it will it and it will also give you the company's average response time so when you send in your proposal if the average response time is like a week which a lot of them are then you gotta wait a week for a response. Now the website is, I think, mostly for sponsorships, but uh, it's also for collaborating with other YouTubers. So other YouTubers that are signed up on this website, there's a section where you can see their style of their videos, and if you like that, then you can hit check, and then the ones you don't like, you hit X, and then the ones you hit check to, if they check you off, then you like connected, and you guys can talk about collaborating. So that's kind of cool. I haven't used that, and I don't think I'm going to. Um, but you know, it's always a good, it's a good feature. Anyway, so my personal experience on this website has been pretty good so far, especially with my first sponsorship, which was, uh, the Rain Guard Hydro Lock thing. Click here to check out that sponsored video. Now, it was the first campaign that I applied to and sent a proposal to, and a couple days later, they got back to me, they approved, they were like, you know, they were all about it, man. And then when I sent them my video, they were like, super happy with it I mean I was like it can't be this easy and I've applied for a couple more campaigns since then almost half of them have just not responded they don't even decline so I kind of figured like yeah it's it's not that easy um, but it kind of is but I'm pretty sure it's because I have like 3.5 thousand subscribers which I'm pretty sure most companies are looking for like 5,000 to 10,000 range even, maybe even higher. It also depends on how much money you're asking for, which is why the section where you can enter in your YouTube channel, it'll give you the average amount of money. The, you know, that that's a section that I find very useful because because then I know about how much money I should ask a company to give me for the sponsored video. So anyway, back to the Rain Guard thing. So I filmed these videos a week early, and so I had sent in the Rain Guard video unlisted to them a few days before it was going to be released. They saw it right away, he responded, they loved it, they sent the money right to my PayPal, and I mean, it just, it flowed really well, it was a great experience. So my overall take on this website is, I think it's really cool, it's a really simple way to connect with companies, send in your proposal on how you want to advertise their product in your video, and they'll send you their product for free, and they'll send you the money that you ask for right away. I remember with RainGuard, it was like two or three days after they approved, I had gotten the two free bottles of Hydro Lock. A couple downsides to the website, I, I would say, is the fact that companies usually take a lot longer to respond than what their average response time says, at least from my experience. Um, companies that decline don't actually decline you, I'm assuming because they don't want to be mean and you know they don't want to make you feel bad, so they just don't respond at all. And also, all the campaigns on this website are really looking for like review videos and 
it really videos that are all about the advertisement whereas with some other websites that are very similar to Grapevine Logic you can do sponsorships for I mean I'm assuming less money where it's just a plug or just a mention in your video about their product and maybe you have a couple of a couple of talking points but then you just move on with the rest of your video whereas with Grapevine Logic I have not seen any campaigns where they just want a plug or a mention it's like a full-on review or a full-on tutorial or anything like that but you know that's fine anyway I hope this helps you out and ironically this is actually not a sponsored video I'm not being paid to say all this about grapevine logic I just wanted to help you guys out because a lot of you guys have been asking me about how all that works and how I've been doing it so there you go there you have it happy National Financial Awareness Day and I will see you guys in a couple days that would be on Monday I'm <laughs> sorry.